as we're all aware, we're in the middle of a really bad housing crisis, you know, and, and um, homelessness is the pressing issue, you know, a studio for an artist is, is a luxury, you know, at the end of the day. But, you know, in an ideal society, you know, we could have both. So I was working in studio space for about a year. There were uh, about 10 to 12 of us there. Some members have been there for seven years. And uh, when that closed, we were all left without space and it was quite hard to find another one. So I suppose it took me four to six months to find a new one here at Mart. When you're um, sharing accommodation with uh, family or flatmates, you know, it's, it's not easy. It can be done, but it's not ideal in the long term. It's a huge part of the cultural fabric of Dublin, of any city, of any country. And so, yeah, it's really important that our spaces for art can be made and not just shown. A huge amount of artists I know have gone abroad. They've gone to Berlin or they've gone to New York or they've gone to London. But it'd be nice if we didn't all have to leave, you know, if we had that here, you know, because there's, as I say, there's some great work being made here. And for it to thrive, you know, creative spaces, artists run studio spaces, they're really necessary. And that's why I think what uh, Matthew and Kira have done is fantastic. So we set up Mart as this kind of multi-building uh, studio provider where you don't rely on one building that um, earlier on we realised okay actually we have to have it in our plan that we might lose two buildings a year and gain one or lose three so we're always evolving which is very stressful and um, while most places would rely on one building and one lease and a team of volunteers to run a space. And that's why places close down. So we focus on a social entrepreneurial um, kind of aspect. So we made sure that whenever we open some studios that the building can rely on its own income rather than the government funding. So we have probably 10% of our income is based on government funding and 90% is self-generated. We knew that if this was going to succeed, we'd have to um, expand quite rapidly to bring in enough income to, to make an organization sustainable. So the reasons why we would lose uh, our buildings in the in the future in the coming years is because our leases were mainly taken out during the recession at, at lower rates all uh, commercial rates have gone up um, like rentals so landlords will just up them five ten thousand uh, euro which is um, just a breaking point for us and for most small businesses and small organizations I think it's important for um, city councillors local governments national governments and the people of cities to engage with culture if that that's gone and it's taken away, if there's no theatres, if there's no opera, if there's no music, if there's no film, well what's your plan if that's not there? And we are a massive advocate for more housing, there's a huge housing problem in this country, our health system is a complete joke, all these things need to be supported but they can be supported as well as the arts and that's the conversation that needs to be had.